Okay, we are live. Welcome to part two of the GB WhatsApp for iPhone video. In the previous video, I showed you how I'm able to get extra features on my WhatsApp, and then I promised to show you how to install that WhatsApp on your iPhone. So here's the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get more cool videos like this. I talk about tech, digital marketing, and finance. If any of these topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get more videos every week from here. So now let's jump onto the laptop and show you how to do this step by step. Okay, welcome to the tutorial. Um, I believe you are coming in from the previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'm going to link it below where I went through all the 16 features you can have on your WhatsApp if you're using an iPhone. So this one is a follow up to that video where I'm going to show you how to get this uh, tweaked WhatsApp on your iOS device. First of all, let me just walk us through uh, where I got this from or where this tweet WhatsApp is from. It's from a developer called Watusi. Uh, actually, I think it's called Forehead. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but this is the website that you can go to first of all, just to read about it a bit. So this is the interface I showed in the previous video where you can have um, extra features on your WhatsApp like I showed previously. Um, also, there are three ways you can install this on your iOS device. I'm going to use the simplest one. There is one for those who have jailbreaking devices. So if you know what jailbreak is, I'm sure by now you know what it means. And we're not going to do that. Um, for those that are on non jailbroken device, I'm sure most of you don't have jailbroken devices. You have normal phones. So these are the two ones we will look at. But today I'm going to just look through the side loading. So side loading means that you are able to install an app on your iPhone without using the official app store, right? Mobile phone has to has the ability to install apps aside the app store, right? Um, so this is how we're able to install other apps on the phone without going to the app store and you call that term side loading, right? Um, so this developer or this app, this tweet was allowed you to do that as well. So uh, if, let me just start from here. Let's use the, the non jailbreaking device type. So just click on download for side loading and it will bring you to the GitHub page where you can download the IPA. Like I explained before. So an IPA is the the, the apps on your phone. They are they all come bundled in the package we call them ipa just like how on windows you see um if you install the software you see dot axt as the extension right so iphone apps have the extension dot ipa so every app you see on your iphone uh, is an ipa so now that ipa is what you install or you just yes, install on your phone and can eventually use the app right so in this case because you want to install a different app or or side load an app to the iPhone, we need to get the IP of that app you want to install. So in, like I explained in the previous video, every app on your phone has a different version or a tweaked version. Tweaked version means that somebody has modified it to have extra features. So in this case, because we're dealing with WhatsApp, this is the WhatsApp IP that has been tweaked or that has been modified that can do extra thing that I showed in the previous video, right? So over here, he goes through um, a long list of steps you can take. So if you look at the example so he has one for how to use a jailbreak device which we will not use and then there's one for no jailbreak which is silent which we're going, to, we're going to use in this uh, tutorial right so and then you see a list of all the app um, tweaked whatsapp you can use so there's a normal whatsapp um, then there is a duplicate whatsapp whatsapp business so here if you have a whatsapp business account or your number is a whatsapp business you can use any of these ones so we're going to use the duplicate one in this case you can use any of these two it works fine then it goes on and on and on so there are other methods too like i said but i'm going to just use this one this one will require you to have a um a windows machine or a macbook right uh, and then i'm going to show you how that works so let me first of all we want to use the side load so it means that the instructions are first of all download the ipa from here and follow the instructions with all store now the first step is to get the ip of the app you want to install on your iphone correct so in this case we want to get this whatsapp duplicate so let me just click this guy and then it will take me to a page to download it so let me just click on save so i click on save it will just download it quickly so i have it saved so i can just go and check so this is it here so this is the whatsapp you're going to install so this is the ipa file as you can see here that's the first step now let's go back so now now that we have the ipa file we need to now move it to the phone and then be able to install it like i explained again let me just go over just in case Every app on your phone or your iPhone, because you want to download it from the App Store, 
what it means is that Apple has already signed it. So it means that the developer of the app has been given a certificate by Apple to sign it. Now, every before they can install on your phone. So it means that every app you have on your phone has been signed by Apple by the, and the developer as well. So Apple gives the developers of every app a certificate to prove that, okay, this app has qualified, therefore you should install on the phone. Now, in this, because of that, and because we're going to silo the hours, we're not going to use the App Store, we need to have a way to also sign that IP before it can install on the iPhone for us. With that, there are different tools you can use to sign and then silo to your phone, which I want to show us next. So now that we have got the IP, let's go to the next step, which is to silo the app with an with Alt Store. So he recommends Alt Store because it's great, like I showed you. So just go to allstore.io. It's a very great tool uh, for those who want to use this. It's a free tool that you can use. If you go to the site, it says side loading for everyone. So they made it simple such that once you have an I IPA file of the app you want to install, you can use this um, All Store app to do the installation. I know it sounds technical and complicated, but just follow me. You understand it soon once you start. I'm just trying to um, explain things so you don't you know what you're doing exactly. So All Store is. Uh, a tool that helps you to sideload apps right so it's a new way to sideload you can sideload other apps on your phone without going to the app store and it's very cool so i'm just going to download it so if i scroll down here you have options for all server mac os and all server windows now this alt server is the tool that you to help you to do the installation on your phone right so i'm going to use a mac so i'm going to click on all store mac os it's going to download so let's just wait for it to finish downloading okay that's fast and I'll open it. If you don't, we do the same thing. So once I open the All Store, I'm just going to extract it like this. So now I have the All Store. Uh, if you're on Mac, you understand how this works. If you're on Windows 2, you have you'd have gotten an EXT file. Just run and install it, right? On Mac, I simply have to drag this new file to my Applications folder. Let me just replace it. I already downloaded it. So if I go to my Apps, I should see it here. So this is the Alt Saver. Now let me just open it. And yeah, let me minimize this guy so allow and all that. Okay, so now we have done the two most important things. You know, we have got the IPA file from the GitHub page, which is the WhatsApp duplicate, and we have got the alt server that will enable us to install this IPA file onto our iPhone. Got it? Alright, so let me just minimize this guy. Let's go to the next step. So this is my phone that I'm about to install the alt server and then the IP on. So if I look on my, let me just quit this guy so I can see the alt server. All right, great. On a Mac, you see the alt server that, it, that I just installed right in the menu here, menu bar here. If you're on Windows, you can check the, I think it's called the task bar. You can see it there. So if I click on it like this, I can see that there's about alt server. I can read about it. Um, I can click on it again. It will give me different, different options. You can check for update. Let me check for update and see. Uh, after that, great. So the next step is that now I want to be able to have this old server on the phone first because the old server needs to be on the phone so that it will allow me to install the IPA. Again, follow me. It sounds complicated, but it's easy when I start doing it. All right. I'm just trying to take my time so anybody at all can follow through. Okay. So now I click on this old server and I go to install. So I have my phones connected. So I'm going to install it on my 13, iPhone 13. So I just go to install all store and I click on 13. So it means that I want to install this all server on my phone. Now over here too, because like I said before, you need to have uh, an Apple ID to do this because I mean, Apple tries to restrict everything. So everything you're trying to do, they will try to block you. So they need some kind of authentication, right? So here, first of all, let me just log into my... So now we wait for it to install. It will take a while. Once it starts, so you see now it is installing the alt store. Great. So we have done, let me just recap, we have done two, or let me say the three things. So first of all, we have gone to download the IPA file, which is the WhatsApp duplicate we want. Two, we have gone to also download the alt server on for our Mac OS. And three, we have been able to install the alt server onto the phone, like move it to the phone. So we went here, install alt store, and it went to the iPhone we want. So now we have the alt store here. So I'm now going to open the alt store and show you. So this alt store, let me just allow and allow. Great. So now we have all store on our phone, which is what we want. So this store that we have on our phone is like a, 
see it like how you'd have had your app store on your phone this is like an, another alternative store i'm sure that's why he calls it all store okay so this now is going to allow us to install any app we want on the onto our iphone using using our iphone let me put it that way so you can browse through the sources um, my apps and all that now one thing here too is that once you have the auto on your phone you just have to sign in again with the same um, apple id you used to silo like to install it on from your mac let me just see that way so i'm going to just sign in my apple id again here to now that we have installed the auto store so we have logged into the auto store with our apple id it will just ask us just give us a simple instruction so it sees how it works so basically now we have a server which is running here all server and we have it all store installed on our iphone right so the first thing is that it says leave the all server running in the background in your computer so because it's like a server a server is like what communicates between your the app and then the server then put it that way in a simple sense and also make sure you have the you're on the same wi-fi as the pc and then you can download the app directly from the all store and the apps will refresh automatically now another caveat here is that because we are doing this outside of the app store it's like we are signing the apps ourselves right so apple limits you to seven days where you see it says free deliver developer account um if you have a paid account i'm not sure most of you have it but if you have a paid account you can log in here too um then basically that's it so what you need to do is notice that every service so if you come to my app for example every app we install here will expire in seven days so the reason why you have to leave the server running here is that at, before the seven days the app will refresh by itself for you so what apple does is that if you don't have a paid developer account any app you sign load on your phone they will sign it out or they will expire it in seven days um for developers they they pay for it i think hundred dollars a year so they the, any apps they install will take one year to expire but because you are a free developer account or free user your app will expire in seven days now to overcome this this that's why this old server comes in before the seven days you can always connect your phone to your wi-fi be on the same wi-fi make sure the server is running just come to the app and just click on refresh and it will, it will extend the app every seven days for you i hope that is clear all right now we have done this i hope you're getting so following so far now the next step how do we get the whatsapp onto the phone right that's the next next question okay so i can go back to my download folder i have the ip here so now i just need to move this ip file to the phone or let me say install it on my phone here let me just resize this guy okay now this all, all store on my phone it can allow me to install apps that i need any app i want all right so you see this plus sign here if i click on plus it will ask me to choose what app i want to install so in this case let me just close this out if you're on ios you can simply copy this and then open the files app on your and then open the phone to connect it to your machine and just copy it into the files right so let me just show you how let me open a different um finder and this is on windows too i think on windows on itunes you can copy files from your machine to your um your phone so now here i want to copy this I want to copy this IPA file, which is the WhatsApp we want to install, to the phone so that I can use it. I can use the all server to or the all store to install it directly, right? So on my file here, I want to move it to I think I already have it in Chrome. Let me expand this. Uh, okay, good. I want to just copy it like this and put it in into the Chrome. So now on my files on my phone, I can simply access it. So now I see it's copying. Let me finish copying first. Great. So let me just close this guys out right so back on my phone let me just open the files up and show you that the file the ipa file has come so if i go on my iphone i go to let me just start from here on my phone i copy to the chrome's folder it's here so you can see the ipa file is still here now so great all right so now that we know where it is we can now go back to the all store and open it like this let me cancel and start over again so i'm going to click on this plus sign here let me use this so this plus sign and click on the plus and it will ask me to choose what IP file I want to install. So I'll click on the WhatsApp and then <coughs> so it'll give you some warning. Just you can use any of but just click on remove extension, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now you see it's loading here. Let's wait for it to finish loading. It will, it will set the app installed automatically for us. 
great so as you can see now we have the whatsapp installed on our phone so it says whatsapp siloed expires in seven days so if i go back to the home screen you can see now i have a new whatsapp here all right so we have successfully been able to um, install a different whatsapp on our phone apart from the current so now if i check my phone i have one whatsapp here two and i have this, this third one right so i have three whatsapp i can install as many as possible as i want on the same phone okay so that's basically how you install the app the whatsapp on your phone and the next thing is that okay how do you now use it so let me just open it and show you that this is the one we downloaded from the store sorry from the uh, the side loading uh, website okay so now it says it looks it looks like a normal whatsapp and everything right okay so this is the what you see whatsapp that's how we call it you can google it what you see whatsapp um you can try to continue and then like normal out your phone but i wouldn't advise let me just quit and start again so on this screen you see the moving animation the phone that nice thing green green thing moving around if you tap on it three times this thing if you tap on it, this whole circle anywhere one two three to open the what you see menu you see from the previous video i showed you this been that i had on my whatsapp this is, this is the same thing here right now we're going to do something instead of installing the app or using our number here as a main number we're going to use our number as the as a linked account you know on whatsapp now you can link a different account to your number right as in link, link another device so um, that's basically what you're going to do here So if you see on the left, I've linked my iPhone, other iPhone to just to show you what I mean. So you know when you go to your WhatsApp account and you go to um, link devices, it will show you the devices that have linked to your phone number or your WhatsApp number, right? That's what we're going to use this for. So I would advise that you don't use your main number on this new WhatsApp you have just done. Um, just so that you don't run into problems in the future, sort of. I advise that you link it as a device which is very cool so it means that you can have two whatsapp on the same device right and then use the any one of them anytime you want okay so now back to the whatsapp on my right let me the new one we just did so i'm just going to tap on the one two three again and before we go on go to notifications and then enable notifications and then choose location this is important because of what we're about to do because it needs to be running in the background before we do this all right so just tap on agree and continue and then like i said don't use your main whatsapp so just tap on the three dots here you see this icon you can tap on it because whatsapp now allows you to link a companion device so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to say okay link companion device and it will now give you a code this qr code it expires in one minute so don't worry the hackers can get to my number all right so once i have this i can now use my other um, whatsapp with the main one to scan this code and to link both of them right so let me just it will go for a while link and then i'm going to scan this code so it's going to scan and open great so now it's syncing loading your charts so that's basically it. so now it means that um, i can have i have the same whatsapp um on different device or on the same device similar how you want if you want to use two whatsapp on the same phone too is possible you can just um, screenshot the link qr code and then use it to all right so we are in so if you can see let me go here now so now you can see the what you see is here now and then we have it and then that's it so now that you have you can start going through the features and enable the ones you want and all that so that's as easy as, as as it gets so from here on you can do all the things i was doing and then you should be good to go um if you have any questions just drop it in the comments below and i'll assist you as usual so that's how you install your whatsapp on your iphone again like i mentioned if you have any difficulty just drop it in the comments for some of you it will be your first time so you might struggle a bit so just let me know what your struggle is and i'll be able to assist you especially those on windows and also um if you want me to do the other methods too let me know and i can show you maybe you'll be interested in that one as well even though it's a bit complicated but it's simple once you are able to understand the process step by step so let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers